watching you for some time Can't stop staring at those First off, you know what I'm saying? It's Izzy, you know what I'm saying? Tiny cat. I just want to say, man, today, it hurt my heart to say that we lost a diamond, man. A genuine one, man. 20 Mac, you know what I'm saying? I could say I had the privilege to be around him for a few years. I didn't know him. I didn't know him, grew up with him or none of that. But I knew him for a couple, say about three years. And out of them three years, it's one of the realest niggas I met, man. Real dudes. And I have to say, man, he will be truly missed. The whole hood love him. Everybody love him. What can you not love about him? Man, rest well, King. You always be remembered. Yeah, Twan was an everyday homie. Somebody you see, like, every day. Whether it's at the donut shop to start the day off and then make your way to the Woody's or a hood function, you know, picnics, the beach, rare breed, wherever we function in that, he's there. So I feel that we're going to celebrate your life, even though it's a tough one because we lost a good one. You know, so it's like, it's like, whatever, man, this is kind of crazy. But um, my condolences to the family, his kids, you know, loved ones, it's a tough cookie to swallow. That's why I pretty hobby. Get some bulls. Man, it's got that crazy call about my boy Twan. Rest in peace, bro. Say what how you went out. Spread dump drivers don't care. I'm going to miss you, bro. I'm going to fly to the 60. Rest in peace. You got your aunt, you got your wings, bro. Everybody keep his family in his prayer, especially his mom, his kids, and his sister. What's well, bro? Watch over us with your angels. Love you. Never go to nothing. To all the homies, keep your head up. First of all, everybody, good morning. And second of all, for the ones that woke up, we made it. Third of all, man, I have something very important to talk about. One of my, he's my cousin through, I don't have to tell you guys why, how, how he got to be my cousin, but I'm talking about Antoine, the one, the homie that got hit on the motorcycle the other day. But we called him something else when he was young, we called him Dick. And uh, he knows why, so we called him that me and dad. And a lot of people, we know him when he was a kid. I'm like, you know, if you don't want to leave the stuff, nigga, I'm coming, because I'm just going to pop up on you with him and Twani. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, Twani Mac. You know, real name? Twani's real name is Dick. <laughs> you ever talk to him again and say, what's up, Dick? He's going to be like, oh, I need to talk to Cap, man, because nobody called him that but me, because me and the daddy, we named him that, because him and my brother, d they the only little kids that smoke more weed than anybody I know. Because they started off, they started off, and they were like, and no five months and all that shit, you know. Yeah, that, that, that motherfucking twine. Yeah, I, I called him Dick when I was saying, "What's up, Dick?" Everybody be looking at me. Well, hey, why, why you calling him Dick? Y'all, cause y'all ain't been around and y'all don't know his daddy named him that. Man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, real talk. Then, then, I, then I, I seen that you was a Forty Niners fan too, man. For a lot, and um. And it really hurt me, man, to see him go out like that. Because I see him every day when I come through that way. I get off the freeway and I come through that way. I see him just about every day. And I get to holler at him, talk with him. And I love to call him, hey, Dick. And they be looking, hey, baby, why you call him Dick? I say, ask him because he know why we call him that. But anyway, man, I just want to let you guys know, you got to be real careful on your motorcycle spin, dog. You know, people ain't watching out. You got to look out for yourself because they try to run me over in, in the little white car that I be in. So, you know, uh, the, the motorcycle is pretty dangerous. And uh, you, you got to be real safe with that motorcycle because if you don't, somebody will do. They hit you and things can happen to you. You know, you don't have to die. You got a broken leg or whatever, whatever. I hate that uh, Antoine, Antoine uh, is deceased right now because... He, I would see him all the time. He looked out for his kids. 
you know, and uh, he come by on Sixth Avenue, you know, at, at his uh, his cousin's house, Denise, you know, and Rudy. He come by there all the time, and you know, I seen him one day, you know, up there, uh, everywhere. I seen him everywhere, every day, and I, I'm kind of sad right now, man. You know. I've been around, man. I know what God do. I know how life is, man. I lost a lot of good people. My mom, dad, you know, homegirls and all that shit, homeboys. I lost a lot of people over the years, man. This is this is a little different because it's this girl that I knew. She kept telling me about her people that got hit on the motorcycle in, uh, I think, Mississippi. And uh, she told me he died. So I didn't ever know that he had a motorcycle. Because if I did, I think that was something that was... Was 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 in a in a, in a, in, I mean, it was coming to, towards me about something, and I couldn't figure it out. Why this girl keep telling me about the her cousin got hit on the motorcycle and he he died? She kept telling me about it. I, I wanted to say, damn, you tell me every time you see me, you keep talking about that. But it was a reason. And then when 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 my, when my cousin uh, Antoine died, it really hurt me because I didn't know he had a motorcycle. I think that was something for me to know ahead of time. So I could have, if I knew he had a motorcycle, I'd have told him, hey, Twan, I heard you got a motorcycle. I didn't ever know he had one. I'd have said, man, don't be driving that thing crazy, man. You got to watch out for people that run you over. You know, because I think Deacon got hit by, by a car on his motorcycle. So, you know, I didn't even know he had one. I was shocked when they told me he had a motorcycle. I said, you got a motorcycle? I said, you ain't got a motorcycle. You got a truck. I would argue anybody down because I didn't know. But if I didn't knew he had that motorcycle, I really would have said something to him because the girl kept saying something to me about her cousin. I wanted to almost want to tell her, sweet, you shut the fuck up about that. Uh, you tell me every time. I don't I don't have a motorcycle, so why you keep telling me? But it was something that God was trying to pass along through somebody else. And sometimes you got to think about the things that people say to you because if you don't, <laughs> you're going to miss it every time. And I miss that. I hate that with a passion, but like I said, what you don't know, you don't know. I didn't even know he had a motorcycle. I know all these youngsters had a lot of things. I've been going 21 years straight, so I know some of them, when I come back, they, they got all kind of stuff. You know, they got, they, you know, they do their little street store and all that stuff. They try to hustle. And that's good, man. They're not trying to rob and steal and beat nobody now. Everybody's trying to sell shirts clothing, whatever you're trying to do, train dogs, whatever you're trying to do, it's a good, it's a good sign now. It's not everybody shooting up each other. Everybody needs to stop that anyway, man. Everybody can hustle and make money, man, you know. I hate that that happened to him. I went by there yesterday. I couldn't, I couldn't even go back up there. I, I was just, I was so, so used to seeing him. It really hurt, it hurt, it hurt me to my heart, man. I love all my young homeboys. I love all of them. I love all you guys, man. Believe that. I don't have I don't have so many favors, but I do have a few favors. You know what I'm saying? I won't even issue the name out on the favors. You guys know who you are. You know my favors, man. You need to spin around. Like I said, I just want all you guys, man, to think before you do anything. Just think, man, before you come out and out that morning. Think if you want to bring it, if you're going to bring something with you, just think of how you're going to bring it and why you bring it. And if you don't have to, you don't. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, man, this is a good morning, man. I just woke up, man, got me a little coffee. I'm kicking with my, my best friend right here. My best friend right here, so. You know, hey, 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 bro, bro, get back over here. Hey, get back over here. Have a seat right there. Have a seat. All the way, man. Stay right there. Yeah, but anyway, I just wanted to say something for my boy Antoine, BK, better known as Dick. You know what I'm saying? And, um, uh, for his son, his daughters, his girlfriend, friends, all the relatives, everybody just hang in there to stay tough, especially the ones that's over 50. You know, we done seen it all. So let's stay tough, let's stay strong for him. And uh, at his funeral, let's be strong. We don't need a lot of, ah, food and all that. Come on, man, I understand everybody love people different. But let's just show him that we're still strong. We still love his smile. When you see him, he got that smile for you. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, just let him know, man, we're here for him. You know what I'm saying? And we don't know where one of us going to go. Nobody knows, man. I'm going to keep it real, man. If, if I pass and y'all come to my front, you don't have to cry, man. You don't have to cry. Just stay strong. Be a soldier for me. 
You know what I'm saying? I don't need it, but ah, oh, ooh, half of us don't like you no way. And then the main ones make it all the noise. But like I say, man, I love you guys, man. I'm up out of here this morning. Hey, Twine, this is for you, man. You know what I'm saying? We love you, man. We're going to miss you. And right now, it's just, it's just fucking with me right now. So I'm going to cut it off, man, because, uh, you know, I mean, you know, any man that cries, man, and the tears come out your eyes, it's, it's probably tears of joy to me. And that's what it is for me with mine. Do come out my, my, I'm going to miss my mom, my dad. You know, uh, homegirls, Twine, you know, Super 60, and all the other people I done, I done lost, man, you know. But it's all good, man. We won't get to live here. It's not a real place that we live at, so they say. I can't, I can't say nothing different. I haven't died and, and went up to heaven or hell. I, you know, I haven't did neither one, but I don't want to die, man, until I'm 106 years old. And then I'll be ready to salute it off. You know, like I say, when I see Twine, I will give you this uh, salute. And like I said, man, I love you, bro. Stay sharp until we see each other again. You know, it's all good. All right. So besides smoke the Robinson, is I'm still here. So you know, I'm gonna take my my blue glasses off. You know, 'cause I'm not I'm not flying high or nothing right now. You know, but uh, you know, I want everybody to know. You know, those who are not here, our parents, our best friends, and all that. You know, uh, I you know I don't understand it when they say we can see each other. And all that, they can see us when they up there. I don't know. I can't. I can't vouch for that. But uh, I'm. I'm glad I'm still here. You know, that's one of my favorite songs. You know, and uh, get out, bro. Come on, bro. You just. You just. Okay. Happy holiday to you too. All right. Stop. Stop it, bro. Right now, stop. And you're not going. <laughs> so I just want everybody to know, because a lot of people always they. They, you know, I don't forget about the, the dead, but everybody be wanting you to talk about the dead and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what happens when you die. You know what I'm saying? I just know they always say, let them rest in peace. That's the magic word that come out of everybody's mouth. Let them rest in peace. Okay, so I'm going to say this, you know, for all the ones that's not here, you know, I love everybody. I miss my mom and everybody else, you know what I'm saying? My best friends, my husters. You know what I'm saying? I really, meet, meet, really, really, really miss them, you know. And, uh, you know, I'm glad my favorite song, like I said, Side Smoking Rock, so I'm still here. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, I just I just wish, you know, everybody was still here. But, you know, God do something, that's what God do. We can't just, uh, we can't fight about it, we can't cry about it. It's just that because we all going to get a turn. And even like my partner, uh, his sister just passed. You know, and uh, I've got a couple more people, sisters and cousins passed, you know, since, uh, you know, the hood life left, you know. And, uh, but uh, it's all good, you know. I just feel a little funny today, you know, days. I'm not going to say Christmas Eve, because Christmas don't, it's nothing to me. It's, it's for kids. I'm not a kid. Nobody, uh, a big box of money not going to fall out of the sky for me. So, you know, it's just for the kids. But New Year's, that's our, that's our time. You know, kids ain't supposed to be involved with the New Year's besides sitting their butt at home, being in the house because they shoot guns and stuff. We don't want to get an innocent person hurt or nothing like that. But I was going to say this, man. I'm through to run. Get out of here. I'll be back later. And I wish all you guys, you know, happy holidays. You know, happy Kwanzaa, whatever. Everybody wouldn't be up under, you know. But uh, you guys just keep, you know, Keep pumping, keep living, and keep trying to keep the kids from killing each other. We know we can't stop nothing overnight, but we need to, you know, we need to really stop it, man. You know, black on black, all that stuff. Cut it out. Blood's gonna be blood, Chris gonna be Chris. But we got to know how to get to, get together. It's like when, we was in the, when I was in the pen, all the Chris and the blood, we got together so we can so we can stay down. So we should do the same thing once you get out here. You know, but you know, it's kind of hard to do the world. But I'll talk to you guys later, man. It's all good. Talk to you New Year's. All right. Rocky. I've been watching you for some time. Can't stop staring at those ocean eyes Burning cities and napalm skies Fifteen flares inside those ocean eyes Your ocean
Y'all nigga playing my shit. shit like out. the OG. They playing my shit, guys. Nigga, we celebrating with Kwanzaa. We're here to be Yeah, let's go. The homies, nigga. And they banging my shit. So oh.